Hi, Anke Herman here from Flamenco Dressmaking. In this video, I'd like to show you how to use the ruffle calculator, which is a quick way to calculate how much fabric you need for your circular ruffles. So you may know that I make flamenco dance costumes in the south of Spain, and most of those have ruffles, and most of these ruffles are circular ruffles. So I needed a way to quickly calculate how much fabric I need for those. So I created myself a spreadsheet to do that and I've been using this for ages and now I've turned it into an online tool that you can use to figure out how much fabric you need for your circular ruffles. Now let's have a look at how this actually works. So you can find the ruffle calculator at flamencodressmaking.com forward slash ruffle dash calculator. It takes you to this page and then you, when you scroll down you see the that the content is protected. The ruffle calculator is available to flamenco dressmaking customers. So if you've purchased a pattern or an online course, you would have received your password. If you haven't got it, please uh, send me a message and I'll send it to you. Now, when you have your password, you enter it in this field down here. Click Submit, which reloads the page. So it looks pretty much the same from the top. And when you scroll down, now you actually see the ruffle calculator. Um, just a quick word of explanation. Um, it doesn't cater for all possible ways of placing ruffles onto a skirt. Uh, the idea is to make the most common way quick and easy. So it assumes that you have fairly regular ruffles all around your skirt. If you have maybe four full ruffles and then half ruffles, you can, you know, split that up in several calculations, which will still be way quicker than having to calculate it all by hand. Um, also to note, this is, doesn't apply for uh, gathered ruffles. So this is just for circular ruffles. And now we're going to have a look. So. Um, in order to be able to calculate how much fabric you need, we need to enter our information, the information for our skirt. So uh, we just need to enter how long is the top ruffle all the way around the skirt and how long is the bottom ruffle, all the, all the lengths in the middle, the tool actually calculates. So if you've got um, the flamenco dress pattern, then for the 12 designs that I describe, all these calculations are done for you, but they may not be of use if you decide to have your skirt with more flair or if you want to use a different ruffle pattern. So that's when you would come here and actually do your own calculations. Um, so yeah, you can measure uh, the ruffle, the length for your ruffle, um, directly on your skirt, or if you use the pattern as is, then you can actually measure it on the pattern pieces, which would be probably easier. But um, So either way, you want the entire length all around the skirt. So now when you come to the field here, you see there are actually values, but they're just placeholders, so that you can see what the format is, is and what reasonable values would be. But you do need to enter your own values, otherwise, uh, the tool won't calculate. So we just go in here and say, well, okay, we just go fairly high up and we say one meter 60 for the top ruffle. And we do, let's say three meters and a bit. Now you can use the tab key to actually tap from up through the fields. So now the next thing we're going to look at is um, what ruffle pattern we're actually going to use. Um, so the information you need to, for for this for these fields, if you use one one of the uh, ruffle patterns that come with the dress or any of the other patterns, um, all that information is actually written on the pattern piece. But if not, if you use a different one or if you actually just mark it on the fabric, you can easily figure that out. Uh, the first thing is we we want to know is how wide is the fabric strip that we use to cut our fab uh, our our ruffles. So if we, the example given here would be roughly the 
for the 15 centimeter wide medium sized ruffle so we're going to just keep that um, now the length of the ruffle per circle is the actual inner the length of the inner circle of of your pattern um, so yeah if you, again it, it, it is actually given on the pattern piece but if you do already have your fabric um, then I would suggest you'd be better off and get a more precise calculation if you actually cut one circle, cut it open and measure. Because um, depending on the fabric, um, part of this edge here will be on the bias, so it will stretch more or less depending on your fabric. So if you use some stiff poplin or, or the stiff kankan for the water de cola, it won't stretch at all. But if you use some soft ch chiffon, you may get way more than what's indicated on the actual pattern piece. So, but you use the pattern piece if you haven't got your fabric yet, if, if you do this calculation to figure out how much to buy. So then obviously you're going to use the, fab, the, the, the pattern piece. So let's just go with the value for the pattern piece. And then, yeah, if you use it and you use a fabric that gives a fair bit, that relaxes and stretches a fair bit, then, then you just know that, you know, you're going to have a little bit of left. left. The next thing we enter is the number of circles per fabric strip so i tend to use patterns that you know allow me to place three four or five ruffles on one straight strip because it's just way more um well efficient in sense of time to cut those this way and yes you could nest them but um yeah i'd rather be quicker than save half a meter of fabric but that's up to you um so as soon as you enter that value, you see how many meters of fabric you'll get for each of those fabric strips you've defined here. And now the only thing left to do is to say how many ruffles do we want. So now let's just, um, you know, take an example for, you know, Flamenco Skirt Carmen, if you know that one, that actually has five ruffles of those big ones. Now, and as soon as you enter that value, that's the last thing you need to enter, and then you actually see the results here. Now, you can see here the total meters, number of meters of ruffles that you need. Uh, so this is when, if you were, if you cut open, when you cut open and put um, your ruffles and join the more older pieces together, then what you need is 12 meters of of ruffles. So this is really the only number you need if if you make all your ruffles from the same fabric. Um, I do sp uh, separate it out here in case uh, you want to say, well, oh, I want num ruffle number two and number four uh, from, a make from, from a different fabric. So you can get an indication of how much you need for each of those. And then you can repeat the calculations just for those to know how much fabric you need. So you can start playing with that, around with that. And now based on the definition here that we've entered we can see now um, how many fabric strips we need and that number is rounded up because I don't ever want you to get to the end of your you know uh, sew your ruffle onto the skirt and get to the last one and find you haven't got enough ruffles and you don't have any fabric left over and then you're stuck so this number is rounded up and the total number of meters the of fabric you need is based on this rounded up number so generous just to be sure so I've got I put this number here so you can see how much it actually is so here you can see that what you really need is seven strips and a little bit so you decide you know whether you know when you cut a whole dress and um, if you cut let's say the the back pieces or where you cut the sleeve you know you've got a little bit left over then you know you may get away with just three and a half meters. Now, the thing is, what are you going to do if you say, well, okay, what I want to do is um, with these ruffles, my skirt the way it is, uh, I need four meters of fabric. Now, what if you only have three? You know, that's when this gets interesting. That's when you can actually play around. So the first thing to do would be to say, okay, now what, what happens if I only put four ruffles? And there you go, already have your problem solved. Now, if you, for some reason, have to put five ruffles on, then 
you can go further up and say, well, now I can either change the flare of my skirt. So if I say, instead of making this over three meters, make this uh, 2.8, there's a good chance that dancing, you won't even notice the difference. And, uh, and you're already half a meter, you already need half a meter less fabric. Now, another thing you can do is to say, well, I could go and, um, and basically cut this out a little bit more generous here. So instead of getting uh, 55 centimeters for one circle, uh, what if I got 65? So then immediately you get more fat, obviously more meters of, of um, ruffle per strip. And then that also shows directly at the bottom line here. So you can basically play around with, with the numbers until you get the design you want and the type of ruffle and the type of skirt. Uh, and yeah, so I use it this way quite a lot when, when clients come and bring like, yeah, whatever, three meters of fabric. And then I have to shuffle around and see uh, what we can do with it. So you can, you know, adjust your numbers and, and play around with it. And there you go. That saves you lots of time. And um, yeah, I hope that helps you get your ruffles for your flamenco scape skirt sorted. At the moment, there isn't a way to export these these results in any way. The only thing that, that I've tried is you can go to your browser window and actually, you know, use the print version, which would print the entire page. And another way is to, you can actually go in here and copy and paste, you know, the, the data out of here. So you can just go, you know, and then paste it, paste it somewhere, control V. And so if you want to, you know, record that or, or save that somewhere. At the moment, there isn't any other way, but um, if you tell me that that's what you want, we can have a look at it. So wishing you lots of fun. Let me know as always. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye.